systemic history, we have to allocate a certain portion. And we want to make sure we have that balance. We want to make sure that the companies that will be involved in the design and the build and the operation of this amazing project. I, am, I can't wait to ride on it because I just love going to Las Vegas. And I, and I just get, when I think about being able to ride on a train and, and you know, kind of get to Vegas the way you like to get to Vegas, uh, you know, I, and, that, and, the, and the refs has to stay in Vegas. But, you know, I'm extremely excited. But I, I, I want to caution the, the, the city mothers and fathers here, the other uh, individuals who will be part of the oversight of this project. Let's make certain, let's do our level best to make sure that this transformative project will bring the opportunities to the families that may not have had this opportunity. Yes, we want to protect the middle class, we don't want the middle class to fall through the bubble, but let's make a commitment by way of this project to help lift people up, the working poor, the impoverished, so that they can experience the American dream by way of projects of this nature. And this includes Paul Smart Grid, our pipeline uh, enhancement and, and, and safety programs, the development of, of safer pipelines, uh, our various renewable energy projects that are out there, the potential relicensing of our nuclear facilities. This is all intertwined. We have to make certain that if we're going to be successful, that we are a part of this. So God bless you and, and, and thank you for your vision of this great project. And I look forward to working with the African American Chamber and other organizations in whatever capacity I can going forward. And our greater days are yet to come. God bless you and thank you very much. Uh, just just a little housekeeping, and uh, I say this with all words. It's, it's like catching lightning in a bottle to have someone that advocates for the issues that are so near and dear to us. It doesn't just simply happen by osmosis. It happens because people, like the people in this room, said they wanted to have it. Commissioner Simon is getting ready to be turned out. Now, whether he gets turned out or not depends a lot on the people in this room. I would hope that right now that you make a note to yourself that when you get back to your home, your residence, wherever you are in the state of California, and for that matter, Nevada, if you want to see a person of this kind of passion and integrity and drive for the underclass of our country and our state, remain the commission. Write a letter to Governor Brown. Would you do that for me? Yes. Thank you, please. Because he can't ask for that himself. So I will ask for it for him. But while we have him on the stage, and I know he has to dash, we, uh, myself, together with Dr. Gaines, representing Victor Valley Black Chamber, and Mr. Ernest Fountain from the Las Vegas Black Economic Council, we would like to present you with this small token of our appreciation, a Vanguard Award for Advocacy. Now, many times, I'm considered an advocate, but you are an advocate for all the people that are underrepresented throughout the state of California, and I am truly honored to be able to join my family. Thank you very much, Robert. Oh.